great, man, that opportunity, man. Another Sunday, get to play the game we love. Homecoming game for all the old Titans. But you know we gotta get a W today. This will be a big challenge today that the Titans need to answer. Winston fires over the middle, intercepted, Butler. Throws left side, going for Sharp. Tajay caught it. Touchdown, Titans! No, sir, three. Darrell Casey sells out to make the play. Wake putting pressure on, deep throw down the middle, pass is intercepted, Logan Ryan. Hey, talk to my boy right here. Get the play of the game right here. I'm trying to get like him. What an amazing team win. Let's go, baby, Titans on three. Welcome to the Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance Smith. That is Eddie George, ladies and gentlemen, right there. In case you could not tell, it's good to see you, sir. Good seeing you, too, man. You're looking sharp. Thank you, thank you. I am a two, a two characters today. Is it, he agrees, too. Dogs. I, we'll get to that. I am a exotic dancer oh. dressed as a fireman. As a fireman. So yeah, if we start getting Mike. phone calls of needing help across the city, you're going to go make that call? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> In a heartbeat. All right. Well, you also you also heard a bark uh, there in the audience. You saw some dogs there in the intro. Uh, October has been Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. We have the Pedigree Foundation in the house. We're going to talk about that a little bit. But we have pups here uh, in the house with us. So uh, hopefully... Uh, baggies on standby, right? Yeah, <laughs> right on. All right, well, let's, uh, we've got a lot of business to get to. Let's kick off the show and uh, talk about this big win here at home. Yeah, right? <laughs> Excited about that. So, four downs with Eddie. Here we go. Uh, first off, early jump, man. Uh, early jump. Had to get on. They clawed back. We still had the two-point lead going in halftime, but the Titans got on it early. That's something that they've been trying to do all year long, get to a fast start. They did a great job of that, jumped out early, made yeah. some great plays. You see Tannehill making some great throws and some tight windows. Yeah. Oh, man, just a fantastic job of, of, of uh, finding his receivers, uh, taking some chances. Yeah. And, and, you know, but that's what we want to see. He's executing beautifully. And, again, you know, with the Titans, it's about getting off to a fast start and get mm -hmm. the momentum and sustain that momentum where they got the victory. Absolutely. Well, had a, had a three and out, but, you know, after their field goal, but a, uh, a, a fumble by mm -hmm. the uh, football to Jameis's face it tends to happen. Uh, the crowd was into it. They were very loud yeah. there, and they took advantage of it and scored on the very next play. Uh, so, yeah, right here. Got to love that. The crowd was hyped. The crowd was into it. They affected that play. Um, uh, they, listen, when, we, when, we're, when we're packed, have a packed house or yeah. a near packed mm -hmm. house, that really helps us, and yeah. it, it helps with plays like that all year long, so it really helped, out to, helped us get off to a fast start. All right, well, uh, moving on to, uh, to second down. So here's the deal. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they won in all sorts of stats and categories. Yeah. Time of possession, yeah. yardage, running, rushing yardage, passing yardage. But where they didn't beat us was uh, red zone efficiency. They were 2 of 4, where we were 3 of 3, and turnovers. They had 4 to our 1. So we, we beat them where it counted. It doesn't matter what happens All that other stuff. Uh, from 20 to the 20. Can you score when you get inside yeah. the red zone? That's where it matters the most. Can you score? And that's where it counted. The Titans, listen, they have a bend but don't break mentality on the defensive side of the football. Uh, offensively, they're starting to find their footing, finding rhythm with the yeah. receivers. Tannehill uh, with his receivers. The, the running game is starting to come around. I, I'm predicting in the next couple of weeks they're going to have a breakout game offensively. Uh, this is all going to come together. We are starting to see the, the makings of that. But they did an outstanding job in the red zone by scoring when they had to. Absolutely. Well, uh, uh, you know, another guy uh, had a solid performance. I would say slightly underrated. Maybe it doesn't jump off the page at you. But Henry had a solid performance because, first of all, this was the best rushing defense in the league. Uh, they hold their opponents to an average of 68 rushing yards. He put up 75. Uh, his season average uh, Holt carrying the ball is 3.8 yards a carry. He had 4.7. So mm. this was an above average game for him against mm. a really, really tough defense. And your offense is anchored on his play. Yeah, especially when the offensive line was struggling early in the year. They gave yeah. us some sacks, was in creating uh, lanes for, for Henry to run through. And now you see this performance. It gives you uh, some a great confidence that he can continue to do it, especially against the number one rush defense in the league. Yeah. To put up 75 yards 
yards and you get the win, then just imagine that as when the season goes on, right. he's getting more in carries, the confidence is growing, the right. com everything's there. It's only going to get better from this point on. Yeah, uh, he did have the rare fumble, and if you ever want to see a man beat up on himself, just watch him on the, the bench. He was hating it. so uh, he, he As he should. Yeah, he's not going to let that happen again. All right, we're moving on to uh, fourth down. You know, Delaney Walker, obviously a uh, huge part of this team, huge part of this offense. He's injured. And uh, uh, one Jonu Smith uh, steps up and steps up big time. In fact, I asked Jonu uh, post game about Delaney's influence on his play. Jonu had this to mm. say. A lot, man. I call him the OG in the room. He like 100 years old. You know what I mean? But he, he, you know, he took me under his wing. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, that's a blessing. You know, coming from a guy like that. So uh, I just learned a lot from him. You know, applied to my game. Yeah, mm. uh, six receptions, 78 yards, nice TD. He called him the OG, yeah. 100 years old. So <laughs> Delaney is 30-something years old. I'm somewhere in my 40s. I'm wondering what I'm considered. Am I double OG? Is that in a museum in his mind, I'm, I think. I'm a yeah, right? Oh, That's man. his kids playing today. Yeah. That's his kids playing. Anyway, John, who is stepping up big time. Oh, no question. Yeah. Uh, big play. Uh, first play, one of the few first game of, uh, plays of the game. Yeah. Uh, back shoulder throw. Made a nice adjustment on the ball. And he's continuing to shine, continuing to blossom. Um, and I think he's going to be a superstar to make him. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, you know, we do four downs, but there was another big Big play that happened uh, in the game. I don't know if you saw it. It was after. A, it was actually after oh, a punt. I, Magnificent play on the sidelines. Check this out. Yeah. If you missed it. Yeah. The punt. Smart. Yeah. Out of bounds. No chance for a return. Oh, that was a good catch over there. See that truly? Yeah. yeah. Nicely nice play. done. Yeah. They might have her back next week to return. <laughs> That's a heck of a chance. We call fair catch for it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brittany is in the house right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brittany. Thank you for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. So the moment, you, did, you didn't know in the moment it was going to be so big, right? You, did you know you were caught on camera? Uh, absolutely not. I thought it was just going to, you know, be pushed to the side because I was on the sideline and then Did there your it phone was. light up? Did your, did your Twitter account light did up? Did it light up? <laughs> it went crazy. I got back to the locker room after the game and then my phone was just full of text messages, Instagrams. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, didn't think about it. And, and you actually caught it low. You didn't bring it in. That, uh -huh. was, that was an impressive catch. Oh, that thank was you. really impressive. <laughs> thank but, you. Now, on the sidelines, you're normally worried about like players like this guy trucking you over. Maybe so, right? But, 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 you, but you paid attention. You had to pay attention. You, you always to. pay attention to every punt. I know. And I love football, so I have to, you know, I love that. wait for my moment. <laughs> All right. Well, I see you have pom-poms. Uh -huh. And it, it just so happens, you know, we're in a football stadium. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, do you think she can do it again? Uh -oh. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. You got it? Yeah. Oh, we don't have a drum roll, but here we go. Here Let's comes go. the Brett Kern punt. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brittany, thank you for being here. We've got thank pups you. in the house. Eddie's here. You know uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. So with that, we go to break with our guy, Co Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. <laughs> Takes the snap, throws left side, going for Sharp. Tajay caught it. Touchdown! Tight! Winston, under pressure, has the ball knocked out of his hands. It's floating around. It's a fumble. It's Harold Landry who has it. Wake putting pressure on. Deep throw down the middle. Pass is intercepted. Logan Ryan. Back to Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It's now halftime here on the show. I'm sure you've noticed the, the dogs in the house. Pedigree Foundation is with us. Uh, we're going to talk about this on the other mm. side. Now, I know you're a big dog lover. Oh, uh, love bull. Uh, yes, I have a bulldog at home. Yeah. She was supposed to be here tonight, but she's a little under the weather. Right. An emergency yesterday. And uh, the doctors did a great job of, of, of taking care of her, so she couldn't be here tonight. But that's my baby. She's been on the first show we've ever done here. That's right, she was on this show. Yeah, yeah. like three, four years yeah. ago. It's been on ever since, causing chaos and havoc. Le left um, her mark. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. shout out to Philadelphia Renee. Get well soon, baby. Daddy will be home. So, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the guy that uh, takes that seat when you're not here, Mark Mariani, is also uh -huh. a dog lover. In fact, uh, he filed uh, this report with his uh, friend Lucy. Check this out. Mark Mariani goes 87 yards, and the Titans are on the board. Well, it's kind of a long story that starts um, when I got drafted. And when you're sitting there as a 
rookie, you could go anywhere in the country, you never know. For me to land in this city that had so much energy and vibrance and just excitement was pretty lucky and I always feel pretty blessed to have been here. And so when I hung them up and was ready to move on to the next chapter, it was really a no-brainer for me. I, I really didn't think that anything would get me from coming back to Montana where I was born and raised, uh, but this city is so exciting. There's so much going on. There's so much opportunity that it was a no-brainer. I had to come back and call myself a Nashvilleian and stay here for the long run. So when I moved into the Gulch in 2011, there was literally almost nothing here. I think Station Inn was here, Sambuca was here, and now you look around and see all the building and all the development and all the restaurants and it's just, I could never even have imagined it. It's so much fun. It's fun to be a part of. It's fun to live down here in the action, in the chaos and in the madness. It's just, it's a good time. I know, give it to me. This is ES Rose Park. Uh, this is where Belmont University plays their baseball and softball and soccer games. It's right above my house and it is such a cool park. It's kind of a hidden gem of the city, I would say. Not too many people know about it, so don't come here. It's not that much fun. Ready? Come on. Lucy is five and a half years of age, which is like mid to late 30s in dog years. The first time I met her, she, would not leave me alone. She just like, I was there to look at her brother and she would not leave, would not leave me alone. And I'll show you the picture of the first time we met. And I got suckered in instantly. It was done. Pretty soon we had a dog and I had been married for a month. Very nice. A little Under the Helmet with Mark Mariani presented by Pedigree. All right, so October has been Adopt a Shelter Dog mm -hmm. Month. Uh, and the Titans and the Pedigree Foundation have, uh, have teamed up to make this really cool shirt. I love it. Tighten up, adopt a pup. Everyone in the audience is wearing it. We got dogs here. People wearing these shirts. Eddie's going to model it for us right there. You can actually buy this shirt and make a huge difference, okay? Since its inception in 08, the Pedigree Foundation has donated eight million to thousands of shelters across the country to help millions of dogs find homes and you can make a difference. So text dogs rule to 615-392-1626 or visit pedigreefoundation.org and make a donation. Remember, adopt, volunteer, donate, and get this uh, snazzy shirt right there. Tighten up, adopt a pup. I'm digging it, right? You like it? It looks good on you. I love it. I love these dogs in the house. I might make this an every week thing. Anyway, all right, we've got two more Titans Blitz on the other side, including the keys to a victory in Carolina. So stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. <laughs> in the house as well. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It is now the two minute warning here mm -hmm. on the show. So we got to talk about this game coming up, Eddie. Big game. Yes, big game. We got, we got two in a row. We want three in a row. Yes. But this one's on the road. Yes, on the road. I, we've been pretty well successful on the road this year. Yep. So that's not going to be a problem. Um, I, I think we feel pretty good about our game plan. Of yeah. course, we got to Keys to the game have got to be, number one, yeah. get to the quarterback. Get to the quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. Kyle Allen uh, we're facing another back. This is the year of the backup, by the way. It is. It's a little weird. Across the board. Across yeah. the board, yeah. But he's he's won but every game, three games. Uh, With the exception of the exception last, last week. He got week. drilled last week. Yeah. So they're going to be upset coming off of this uh, loss against the San Francisco 49ers. So they're going to be dialed in and ready to rock. But I think the 49ers gave us a defensive game plan. Right as a blueprint of how to get to this team. And that's slowed down McCaffrey. Got to get to him. Yeah. Well, he's actually the second uh, second key here. Christian McCaffrey is their weapon. He, mm -hmm. he accounts for almost 50% of their offensive plays. He's on pace for 2,500 scrimmage yards. 2,500. Oh. 
CJ2K holds the record at 2509. Yes, 2509. That's the kind of year he's having. And he looks like CJ2K. You yeah. Know, only in the black with number 22. I mean, he's right. got the speed. He's got the moves. He can break tackles. Yeah. And when you look at his size, like up close and personal, like this guy plays running back. Right. But he runs bigger than well, he looks. You say that about every running back, though, because oh, you're bigger than know, all the running backs. Yeah, sure, I get it. Except for Derrick Henry. You're like, yeah. well, that's what running back's supposed to look like. Right. But, <laughs> but the cat, he's, he's amazing. So yeah. we got our hands full. Dean, Dean Pease and the all, defensive uh, coaching staff of the Titans are going to have their hands full and slowing this cat down. So with that, and that leads leads into the third key here is, is feed Derek the ball and own that time of possession. Yes, big fella's got to eat. Big fella's got to He's eat. Gotta eat this now. Game especially, He's got to right? eat. Yes, feed him the ball. I mean, look at it. He's got to feed those muscles. He hadn't really had that breakout game this year. Yeah. He's been solid. He's been consistent. He's been patient. And I think this is the week going up against a vulnerable defense, the Carolina Panthers. They give up five yards a carry. Five yards a carry. To yeah, a running back that, that just. That makes me salivate. I mean, <laughs> he, you know, I know it's Halloween and I want candy and all, but that right there just <laughs> That's makes That's all you want. Oh, man, you, you see that on paper, you, you just move like, ooh, I wish I could. Ooh, just one more time. Say it again, five side. yards five a carry. Five yards a carry, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're 31st in the league. In he that, can in just lay down, he's so tall, and get three of that, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope he doesn't do a lot of laying down. If he does, yeah. it's in the end zone. Yes, yes, it is. But I, I think yeah. it'll, it can be a good day. Again, the Titans have to approach this game with a great sense of balance. Uh, Tanny Hill, we talked about him. Kind of, um, you know, let the reins off of him a little bit. Let him sling it downfield, mm -hmm. stretch the field. We have some great weapons on the outside, and it can only open up the lanes for Derrick Henry moving forward. I tell you what, we have a really balanced offense, and Tannehill has been yeah. spreading this ball around. There's not been – you think it's A.J. or you think it's Davis or maybe Humphrey shows up this game. Absolutely. He spreads the ball around. It's Absolutely. good to see. It's good to see that. Own the clock. Win the game. All right, we got a little bit more Titans Blitz on the other side. The dogs are still in the house, right? <laughs> right. More Titans Blitz on the way. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Your Health Plans. It's now overtime here on the show and time for our Wendy's Hot Take of the Week. Eddie, we've been talking a lot about uh, Mr. Jeffrey Simmons mm. making a big impact on the defense. A man like that needs a nickname. Mm. Needs a nickname. Now, he's been called uh, Big Jeff by a few fellows on the uh, team. Okay. I think Mike Keith has uh, uttered it a couple times. Right, right, right. Okay. So we put it out on Twitter, and this was actually a thing. People want to know what the nickname is going to be. So maybe by a, a crowd uh, response here, oh, El Jefe I was like thrown out that. there. El Jefe. Like El Jefe. Right? Sacked by El Jefe. Oh, this guy says uh, Jeffrey Cyborg Simmons. We I like that. Cyborg. He looks like a Cyborg. Right? He kinda I like does. Cyborg. He kind of does. El what else Jefe. we got? Big Jefe for Big Boss. Big Boss. So there's a little play on El Jefe. And the, but I thought this one kind of won. Jeffrey Simmons' nickname should be WSIX because he's truly the Big 98. Uh, <laughs> country music fans in the house listening to that station. I mean, it fits. What do you like? What do you like? El Jefe. El Jefe. El Jefe. Right? I like El Jefe. The boss. The boss. The boss. Yes, the sir. boss. You like that? El Jefe. What do you like? I, I might like it, too. It grows on you. El Jefe. Everybody? What do you think? What do you got? El Jefe. Did you ever have a nickname thrown at you? They called, uh, they called me that Big was Duke. Big Duke? Yes. Big Duke, because I, I just remember just the Eddie, Eddie, well, Eddie. This is in college. Chance. You're right. Yeah, I mean, big this Duke. is Big, Big Duke. Like, like uh, How did John big Duke Wayne. Sit with well, you? Uh, you know, they called me Marmaduke because I was like a taller <laughs> running back yeah. and I had the big paws. I was kind of clumsy. Speaking like, of dogs yeah. in the house, yeah, well, well yeah. played. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then uh, they started calling me Big Duke. Like after John Wayne as the boss. So I was like, ah, I can live with that. My grandfather's name was Duke, too. So that it was fits. fitting. Yeah. It's fitting. Yeah. But it's just Eddie just was, that's yeah, all we needed. Eddie. 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 Yeah. Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. 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 Uh, I do love some dogs. Once again, mm -hmm. there's the info there at the bottom of your screen. Text dogs rule to that number 615-392-1626. Where's our shirts? And uh, get this fantastic shirt right here. 
PedigreeFoundation.org is another place you can go get Titan Up, Adopt a Pup. 100% of the proceeds go to uh, helping homeless dogs. Gotta love it. Thank you guys for being here so much for bringing in the pets. I love it. Hey, uh, where are you going with this outfit later, by the way? Um, going home to mama. Going home to mama with the <laughs> sexy fireman outfit. All right, hey, let's get a win in Carolina, right? Yeah! Let's bring home that W. Make it three in a row, baby. Keep it going. That's what I want to hear.